The switch and the router are two core components in most modern networks. The internet is considered a system of smaller networks, in which each device connects to share information. The local area network can be the most basic of networks that allow for the exchange of data. This type of connection is usually facilitated by a switch. Concept for the switch can be traced all the way back to the early days of networking, where devices known as hubs repeated incoming data to all connections. These are considered the dumb days of networking. So if data has to be sent from one device to another, it first has to be broken into smaller pieces called datagrams. Each datagram is then placed into a packet, and each packet is further placed into a frame. On each frame, there is a source and destination MAC address. The switch, keeping track of all connected devices through their MAC addresses, is now able to sort each frame onto its own destination path. A basic switch is sometimes referred to as a layer 2 switch because its functions solely fall within the local area network. But as we know, being able to share information on a local level is not how we will go about defining the modern internet. As far back as the 1960s, there was a desire to break out of the confines of the local network. The first steps were made with the ARPANET, the precursor to the internet, which joined networks across the continental US, Europe and Hawaii into one very large interconnected system. This was made possible by a device called the Interface Message Processor, which has evolved over time into the modern day router. A router usually sits at the edge of a network and acts as a gateway for incoming and outgoing traffic. Instead of sorting this traffic based upon MAC addresses, like a switch, the router uses IP addresses, comparing them to a routing table to determine the next viable path. So if a datagram is destined for a device outside the local network, it is sent to a router where its packet is unpacked and its destination IP address is used as a guide to determine the next best path in the delivery process. Because a router generally serves traffic at a higher level on the network, it is sometimes referred to as a layer 3 switch. Today it is hard to tell the difference between a switch and a router because these two networking components have the tendency to be bundled together into one package, which you most likely, in passing, have encountered on multiple occasions. So let's recap on what is a switch and what is a router. Switches are used for connecting multiple devices creating what are called local area networks. When sorting traffic, a switch must rely upon the MAC addresses of its local devices. Routers act like gateways between networks for incoming and outgoing traffic. To correctly sort this traffic, a router will rely upon its routing table and the destination IP addresses of incoming packets. <laughs>